Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Uh, this is not a Thursday Theorist. That's coming later on. Uh, tomorrow, I imagine. Depends on when I <laughs> upload this video. But today, we're in front of the King shelves. So it is King themed. But today, we are not talking about Stephen King. We are talking about Tabitha King. This is her debut novel, Small World, released in 1980. And it has a... Uh, it has a blurb on the front from Peter Straub that says, Suspense so clever it could cut your skin. He is so utterly full of shit, it ain't even funny. Um, this book is probably one of the top five most boring books I have ever read. It has whole sections with people just walking around. Um, long, drawn-out sections, people talking about traveling plans. Long drawn out sections of people talking about flight times. Long drawn out sections of allusions to sex. Some sex. Just the most boring crap you could possibly think of. Um, all of it's in this book. Uh, there are two really good scenes in the book that happen somewhere around the midway mark and somewhere around the end of the book. There are some pretty good scenes. Uh, I did nowhere near good enough to make up for all the rest of this. And as far as the suspense so clever it could cut your skin, what book did you read, Peter Straub? I don't understand it. Is it because he, it's your friend's wife? Or, or did you read the same book that I did? I don't understand it. Um, this book's bad. Uh, and not just bad in, in like an amateurish way. It, because the the writing in it is is pretty good. Uh, we're going to talk about that more in a second. But it's just nothing happens, and the stuff that does happen is just boring. It's literally the daily lives of these individuals with a little speculative fiction tied on. I mean, it's it's really hard to spoil this part of the book when it's on the cover. But it's about a person that gets shrunk. Um, or about a shrinking ray called the Minimizer, which is a running joke throughout the book. Um, but yeah, it's one of those books where I just could not wait until it was over. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now, do I regret reading it? Hell no. And you'll find out later on when, uh, when you watch my Thursday Theorist episode. But if for no other reason, the Thursday Theorist connection made this worth the read. Now... As far as the uh, the writing is concerned, this book reads very familiar. Familiarly? No, that's not a word, is it? I don't know. I'm a writer. I'm a, I'm a writer. <laughs> that's even better. I'm a writer, y'all. Um, this it really does feel like a Richard Bachman book. Um, even with it being as boring. At, well, especially with it being as boring as it was, it felt like a Bachman book. Uh, and the writing, I went back and I, I put some passages side by side, man. And I'm telling you, they were they're pretty damn close. And I've long said that the Bachman books don't feel like Stephen King books. Um, and that's, I know this is a hell of a stretch. But what if Tabitha's the one who wrote the Bachman books? What if... That's the reason those books feel that that removed from King's catalog. Now, later on, you know, like after Thinner, you know, with Blaze and the Regulators, those feel like King books. Even Thinner, Thinner feels like King book. But those first four books, man, they really do feel different from King's output. And I thought it was just because his stuff was, you know, it was so early on in his career. But I'm wondering if uh, husband and wife didn't either work really close together on these books or if Tabitha is actually Richard Bachman. Who knows? Um, we'll probably never know. Uh, I'm probably way off base. But also, I mean, later on in his career, you can't tell Joe Hill, and I've done this with Stephen King fans. I've given them a passage and said, hey, is this Stephen King? And they're like, yeah, that's definitely Stephen King. And it was actually either Joe Hill or Owen Hill. Now, Owen, not Owen Hill, Owen King. Now, Owen's a little easier to tell apart from his dad, but modern-day King reads exactly like Joe Hill's work. 
Um, and I believe it's because this family pretty much just works on each other's stuff. That's my, that's my theory anyways. Um, either that or, you know, Joe might be working on some of King's stuff. I know he came up with the ending for, what was it, uh, Dark Tower, 112263. I know Joe Hill came up with the endings for those or certain concepts or whatnot. But anyways, um, have you read Small World by Tabitha King? Did you like it? I have some friends who say they like her more than they like Stephen King. And if th But if this is anything to go on, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't care for this much at all. I do love the uh, Thursday Theorist, the Dark Tower connection I found in this book. It's a damn near a hard connect, too, which is pretty awesome. But if you read the book, let me know what you thought of it. Don't just say, it sucks, or it's amazing. Don't say that. I can't stand that. Give me some reasons for why, or I'll just, you know, ignore your comment. <laughs> but anyways, until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!